Hi guys, I'm Rosh and welcome to Sinata Design. Please subscribe, comment and like so that I can continue to develop my channel better in the future. If you'd like to make a donation, we are accepting super thanks and donations via PayPal with the link stated in the description. In this video I will give a tutorial about one of the most important tools in Twinmotion. It is about learn how to set up materials in Twinmotion. Okay, let's just go straight to the video. Okay, now we immediately open Twinmotion 2023. Here, because we will discuss the material, so, I will immediately close the template. Here, you can see, there is a library. In the library you can see the material folder. In this material folder, you can see various kinds of materials that you can use in Twinmotion later. You can use various glass materials, to various car paint materials. If you want to expand the library window area, you can move it, so you can get a more flexible window area. Of course this will affect your 3D window. You can set it yourself according to your preferences. Now, I'll explain how to set your material to 3D in Twinmotion. You only need to drag the material you choose to the area where you will replace the material. The material will change. Now, I return to the initial material and try to enter other materials. Here, I use cobblestone as an example. Here, after you have installed the material in 3D, you can find additional settings in the properties panel. Okay, let's just close the library panel and focus on the properties panel. We also close the scene panel so we can increase the width of the properties panel. You can see here, there are various kinds of tools start from color to miscellaneous. Okay, we will try to discuss the settings one by one, starting from the color first. Here, in color, when you try to click on the white box on the right, a color picker will appear, you can shift the color. Here, you also see some RGB numbers. You can use these options to change the color, or you can also use the code to change the color of the material according to your prefences. Next, still on the color settings, you can see the grunge settings here. If you slide this setting, you can see that there are black spots on your material. Grunge can help disguise the repetitive material in twin motion. You can see here the black spots spread over all the same material areas. And if we zoom in, the effect makes the material feel more realistic. Next up is luminosity. Here you set the material settings to be darker or lighter. Okay, let's return to the initial settings. We continue to detail the settings on the color. In detail settings you can find saturation, gamma, lift and gain. Here, as you can see, you can adjust the color of your material. And as you can see, you can change the texture saturation, And here you can click on each of the gamma, lift and gain and in each setting there is access to additional settings for gamma, lift and gain to increase the color setting changes.
Okay, now we proceed to the UV settings. Here, we can see, there are three tools namely rotation, scale and details. Okay, let's start with the rotation. When we try to adjust the settings, we can see that the direction of the 3D material changes. Furthermore, under the rotation there is a scale, on the scale you can adjust the settings to enlarge or reduce the material in 3D according to what we want. Next, we discuss the details on the UV settings. In UV details, we can see stretch, offset, and speed. In stretch, also if we try to slide the setting, we can adjust the length of the material. Furthermore, in the offset settings, we can also adjust the settings to shift the material to your liking. Next, is the speed setting. In the speed settings, we can shift the settings and adjust the material so that it can move at a certain speed. Okay, now we close the UV settings. We proceed to the next setting, namely roughness. In the roughness setting, when you shift the setting to 0%, you can see that your material has become more glossy and reflective. Meanwhile, if we slide it towards 100%, then the material will look matte. And in the details roughness settings, there are textures and inverts. In your texture, you can change your material texture. And the invert function is to reverse your material. Next is the metallic setting. Previously I would return the roughness setting to its original setting. In the metallic settings, you can shift your settings to change your material. If you shift the setting to 100%, then the material will become metal. Meanwhile, if you shift the setting to 0%, the material will become non-metal. In this metal setting there are also details. If you open it, there are textures and inverts too. Okay, now we will discuss the normal settings. The function of the normal setting is to make the material more raised so that the material will be more realistic. Now we will open the details. Here, we also have parallax. So let's talk about it. When I move that slider, while the parallax map is disabled, I just touch the normal map and it's going to affect the intensity. There's also an option to flip that normal map, the green channel of the texture. The next setting is emissive. Here, the function of the emissive is to turn on the light on the material so that the material will light up like light on a lamp. As you can see, under the glow setting there is a luminance filter, which functions to adjust the color of the light, this is the same as in the color setting. And when we open the detailed settings on emissive, we will see settings that are almost the same as the color settings. The next setting is the mask setting. And when we click invert on the mask setting, the material will disappear and not be visible. To be honest, I have never used this setting but I think that this setting should still be discussed. Now we proceed to the next setting, which is X-ray. The function of this X-ray is more to make the material transparent and maybe you can use it for certain things. Next, the last setting is miscellaneous. Here we see we can apply our material automatically to two sides. Here there is also weather so that our material settings can be adjusted according to the weather settings later. There is also a sound that adjusts to the type of material. Now I will discuss how to create a new material. Here, we can see that there is a material tool in the middle of the interface. And when we click, a window will appear above it. Now, to create a new material, we only need to click the plus sign on the right and a new material will appear automatically. We can edit the material according to our wishes. Okay, 
Here I will give an example of how we do the settings for the new material. Ok guys, that was a video tutorial about setting up materials on Twinmotion. See you in the next video, ciao!